Super Bowl 53, a little more than a week away, and L.A. Right. has Rams fever. Oh, yes, we do. Joining us now is NFL legend and former Ram, Nolan Cromwell. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Nolan. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, I enjoy it. You know a little something about a Super Bowl. You played not only Super Bowl 14 with the Rams, but you also won a Super Bowl when you coached for the Packers. So what do you think this next week is going to be like for some of these Rams players who have never in their lives been to a Super Bowl? Well, you know, it's out of your normal routine from the standpoint you have two weeks to prepare. They're going to be so excited getting everything ready, their game plan, everything's going to be set. And then, but the game never gets here. It just seems like the, that next week is a long week of preparation and going and, and uh, trying to keep yourself focused. Uh, you're used to one week, now you got two, it just keeps on going. And, uh, but uh, I'm sure Sean McVay will uh, be creative enough to keep them guys focused and ready to go. So, Nolan, a lot of die-hard Rams fans right now are probably looking back to the glory days, looking back to your time with the Rams. And I'm just curious to know if you see any similarities between this team and the Super Bowl Rams team of years past. Well, the, the one thing I, I've noticed throughout the season, this has been a team that's been very close. Uh, it's kind of, a, uh, kind of a, not to quote Sean, but uh, a we, not me type of attitude. And, and I see everybody supporting each other. There's not a lot of individuals that, are, that kind of say, hey, look at me. This is, this is more a cohesive, and that's kind of what, when I came in the NFL and through the, my Ram years, that's what we had. We had the togetherness and, and, and the, the tightness that uh, really you played for each other and not, not for yourself. Mm. Let's talk about Jared Goff. Obviously, Nolan, he's one of the youngest stars in the league going up against arguably the best quarterback of all time, Tom Brady. How is that going to be an issue? Well, I don't think it's going to be an issue. From the standpoint that that Jared, if he just goes and plays his game, just relax, play your game. You can only do what you can do, and if he just goes and plays and work, you know, executes the way the offense is supposed to, that's all he can do. And if he can just get that in his head and not put pressure on himself, the Rams will play very well and do very well this. Uh, this in this Super Bowl. Ooh, I hope you're right. That's a definitely a sound uh, prediction there. <laughs> Nolan Cromwell, a Rams legend, an NFL legend. Thank you so much Before for your you time go, this one, morning. Before you go, one last question, Nolan. What are the two yes. things the Rams need to do to win the Super Bowl? Well, number, number one, I think they, they've got to run the football offensively. And uh, again, the box is going to be loaded up and the play actions and everything, you know, uh, uh, and get the ball out quickly. But the biggest thing I think is, is they've got to put pressure in, in uh, Tom Brady's face. We got to have a push in the middle by Donald and Sue. And, and I think you get that push in there and the guys coming around the edge, if we can get some pressure on them, uh, I think we got a, a great chance. Do you want to end with a prediction, a score prediction? Well, you know what, I, <laughs> I tell you what, I think it's going to be 27 to 21. Oh, close game. Okay. No Rams. Thank you so much. Go Rams indeed. <laughs> NFL legend Nolan Cromwell, thank, thank you so you much so for much. your time, sir.